Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, but I play other games as well, and welcome back to Order of the Thorn, The King's Challenge. Um, so it feels like forever since I've actually sat down and played a game, uh, and I will admit it's been a busy couple of weeks, but uh, today I have time, and the sun is shining, and what better day to play a game than when the sun is shining? Just draw the blinds, light a a big old lamp in your face and uh, put on headphones and just sit down and talk to this asshole. Hello there, Tucker. Oh, uh, hey. Hello! I'm a complete and utter tool. I am going to, to you, fuck and off now. Okay, so in the last episode we found out that uh, it wasn't actually the queen that uh, was uh, found. It was, in fact, a mute uh, daughter of the uh, innkeeper. So let's go and see how she's doing, shall we? It's been so long since I played this, I don't actually recall if there was any task that I had to run off and accomplish, but I'm gonna go with no. I mean, we'll see. Okay, uh, no? Goodbye. Fuck Goodbye. off. Never mind. Uh, are you- are you still- Hey there, why so glum? I thought I had the queen! Turns out it was just the tavern owner's daughter. Just? I She's thought. right there! Gave it an honest try. I mean, the Found mom. Uh, yes, <laughs> obviously. For me, I thought the queen was surely posing as her daughter. Yeah, way to backpedal on that one. You were just not paying a fucking right. attention. Why do you say that? Cupping his hand around his mouth so only you can hear him. His eyes get intense as he leans in to whisper. I have syphilis. I'm a fraud. I never defeated Lord Sinister. Uh, his voice is kind of the same volume as it ever was. He was in the midst of doing some kind of arcane ritual. I was scared. And I just I bent over and told him to ram me. me. Suddenly, he disappeared, as if sucked out of the room by magic. He shrieked and screamed and cried something about, This isn't Avalon. And then he was gone. I'm sure that was just an incredibly important plot it point. I killed him, as his cloak and armor were left behind. And I didn't correct them. Please keep my secret, Finn. Please. Uh, I think I'm not the only one you want to ask that. Good for me to tell people. Someday you will have to, though. I know. In fact, I can write a song about it if you like. You take real courage. I hope I find that. No. Me too. I don't if think you, you really will. want to know about Lord Sinister. Ask Brother Kunchen at the monastery. Do I really? I can tell you anything you'd need to know. But we, we're kind of on these, uh, you know, tons of meaningless quests. We have to hook up a guy who has a turtle for a friend with uh, another person, and uh, uh, with the, uh, you know, person in the uh, apothecary or whatever the hell that is. Um, and uh, we have to get our fucking spell book back from those idiot fucking, uh, f not fairies, nymphs, uh, whatever, flying winged fucks, and all sorts of other shit. Okay, but apparently we have to go to the monastery now. Alrighty then, everyone in the mood for a history lesson? Good to see you, young Finn. Oh, hello. Tell me of Lord Sinister, please. Sinister was a powerful enemy of ours. He saw Cut the back on the, the cigarettes. Of this world ...and paid dearly for it. So did the rest of you here. It was lucky he was stopped before more damage took place. You see, Finn, the old He's like right up to my ear. ...countless years. And in protecting the land and its people, we protect something greater as well. It goes back long ago. The to shared Google password of the entire village. The story of Octorus. I like that band. Yes, of course. I've heard tales and songs from my father. And I wish we he'd shut up about it already. We consider it among our highest priorities to preserve the story of Octorus. Alrighty. Tell what the this. hell is Arcturus then? Over a millennia ago. Yuya was a young world. So much chaos and strife. As with all young people. The people were divided into many warring factions. The people of different lands were distrustful of each other. No shit. Many were greedy for what others had. No shit. One day, though, out of the myth of... And all of a sudden, everything faded away. Oh. A simple man. Who was not distrustworthy and had a magnificent not beard. not say where he came from. He only carried with him what appeared to be a simple You're really story. underselling this character Somehow, right now. He gathered people to his banners. The greatest warriors of many nations began to follow him. Was he a hypnotist? 
Well, come with me across this chasm. There will be treasures and gold and peace and prosperity and also shiny and things. After the final bloodshed. Oh, he did Thor lead them into war. Twelve knights declared war to be over between all the great nations. Octorus was kind of a plagiarist. After I've read Thor's of this guy called Arthur. I shall be exactly like him. Cleo, and it was there that he founded the Order of the Thor. That's the game's title! Tell me of the creation of the Order. More history Our lesson. Artorus knew that the kingdoms of Yir oh. would always need a common Does he have this speech memorized? Like, every time someone comes into the church and, and oh, I shall tell you of Artorus. I'm so glad you asked. He did not wish to rule Uyir at Morcleo. As he said, he'd seen what that could rot before. But he did wish to provide He did speak in a weird manner. And wisdom. The Order was his creation. A group of knights and monks with loyalty to all and to the code of conduct. Loyalty to all. Held themselves That's to. a hell of a charter, isn't it? Uh, behold, more tapestry that a I suddenly banner smacked banner in your face. Was a sword entwined by a vine with thorns, and those who flocked to his banner adopted it as their standard too. Because they were very unimaginative people. It was only logical to the founding fathers of the order to call themselves the Thorn. But with an E, so, because they couldn't the spell. And great halls of the Order of the Thorn spread across Uyir. <laughs> some even reaching the highest. <laughs> that name was named. Be that land was named mountain. because someone just coughed and went. Mm. Ah, that should be the name of our land. Hello. And in all those years, we have remained as a beacon of good. For the people of Uyir. God, I hope that foundation is strong. That does not look safe. What, what happened, to, happened to the keen now, old man? Arturus, as shrouded in mystery as his origins were, was still just a man. He aged, but continued to stay and serve. Thank you. For How does years. that work? It is regarded as myth by most now. But our official documents trace over 200 years that Arcturus stayed with us. Just a man, you and say? as he grew older, his vitality remained unimpeachable. He had nocturnal but emissions there, like you wouldn't believe. He said that his time here was past due and that he needed to leave. So then he fucked off. Not a day older, as far as I can he tell. He out of the castle at Morcleum and was never seen again. So Years later, a letter was found, written from him to his first commander, Regent. In it, he that's a strange that he name. To return to a place called Avalon to take the Octorus of Avalon. Put it, many have searched for Avalon. We haven't really gotten no to the next letter in the Avalon. alphabet, but that's okay. It's just like the idea that he comes from a country or a land or a place where everything starts with the letter A. Tell me of Avalon. Avalon. Final history. It's like how the strings just sort of—you can't, pro you probably can't hear it—but the strings just kick in every time the monk starts talking. Study, but nothing could ever be found. Sinister, in fact, was a student of the order who went mad. So now we're coming full circle, eh? It is said he became obsessed with it and the power it afforded Octorus. This is the reason he began scouring Uyr. And destroying villages and cities. <laughs> oh, uh, it wasn't here. Fuck you! The secret of Avalon somewhere in the realm. He does look sinister. I will grant him that. Also, he behold my power, mighty phallic spear! And his wit to subvert many and convince them. Charm and wit. He does cause. not look he very charming or witty. Apart, with the aim of finding the secret of Avalon, and he promised a better world for all. With its discovery. Even though he looked really, really mean. Strife, death, and destruction. Well, he's got the, the name like Sinister. For a time, but now, thankfully, we have peace. Through no fucking help of this guy. Ah, ah, look, look. Because ah, the uh, logo looks like a face. Anyway, finally we're done. No, hell no. No. Really? Do I have to order of the thorn? Tell me about the order of the thorn, 
Well, is he gonna go on? Oh dear fucking Christ! I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My father was Denal of Galway. I was told he was a friend to the Order. Indeed he was. Which means you must be Finn. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I might have clicked Your these options out of order. I spent much time with him in our battles against evil. They were fun. Only the finest musician I ever knew. He could also turn a phrase like no one else. The stories he wove in his songs are those of legend. Ooh, baby, we baby. Ooh, baby, baby. That was his biggest hit. I am sure of that, my son. Oh, fine. We'll exhaust this one and then be on our fucking way. We have to solve some puzzles. And its fairest city are a wonderful place. I've only come to Could you say that a bit more creepy, thanks? A wonderful place. And its people. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Even Finn was kind of getting sick of this. It's like, Goodbye. I'm leaving. Fucking off now. And hope I'll never fucking see you again. All right. Let's go solve some fucking puzzles, shall we? I have no idea where to start. There are some mush. You turn over the mushroom to see a rich purple underside. Ooh! This mushroom looks like the one. I have discovered mushroom. Was it always there, or did it just grow while I was off into the city doing God knows whatever? I have just. Well, I didn't actually solve any puzzle or anything. I just. Uh, I really wish there was a, a bridge across that thing. Anyway, um, mushroom. This, this dude wanted a mushroom. I'm gonna go give him a mushroom. Mushroom! I am going in the wrong direction! I am terrible at, uh, all of this that shit. I know! Fuck off! Get, get in the- get in the fucking forest, will you? That did- you- Come on! I can't go north from there. Look it! It's a fucking path! Piece of shit. See, I can't actually remember what the mushroom was supposed to be good for. I mean, I was supposed to trade it to this asshole. Uh, so I could get an empty jar? Oh, oh, sh shut the f Okay, fine. Here, here, have your fucking mushroom already. Shopkeeper, I have the mushroom you asked for. Now you can go get high! Oh, thank you, young bard. Oh, the jar! Take the jar in payment. Oh, thanks. Much appreciated, shopkeeper. Okay, I can, I can have a thank jar. Shopkeeper. You're quite welcome, young bard. Oh, bye. Uh, so can I, can I... Like, trap a nymph or some shit in it? Also... Ah... Uh, fuck do I know? Okay, I have a jar. The jar is empty. On closer inspection, you can see the lid doesn't seal completely. So this jar wouldn't be useful for liquids. I definitely have to trap one of these nymph bastards in it. <laughs> she just... She just exited to the right and then came sp sprinting back to the left. That was interesting. <laughs> Ooh, roses. Bending down, you pick a single beautiful Okay, rose see I thought I had to change the uh wilting flower that I was carrying into a rose, but uh now I can go give uh Mr. Fisherman and the LSD turtle this, and maybe they'll let me into the swamp so I can get my fucking songbook back already. Well, hello there. Oh, we could no, oh, 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 stop interrupting me. God damn it, here's your fucking- That's the wrong fucking flower! You attempt to hand- I said she liked- Ah, right. Fucking hell, man. Here we go. You attempt to hand the rose to Ted, really? but he refuses. Fuck you, Ted! For me, Dad. For Glenda. Oh. Yes, I'll go give it to her now. Alrighty, time to play matchmaker. For reasons I'm not entirely sure, but maybe they'll let me inside the fucking swamp now. Here we go. Oh, and we also composed a song you for her. The rose to oh, Glenda. this will be interesting. Ted asked me to give you this rose. It symbolizes his love for you. Pure. And beautiful. And wilting, and full of thorns. This, this is beautiful. Ted is such a romantic. And I'm a bit she naive. With a sigh and a wistful gaze in her eyes. You proceed to rob her of everything while she's lost in thought. Alrighty, uh, and now we have to play her a uh, tune. 
this one. feels so much, but has a hard time saying it. So, together, we wrote this song to express how he feels about you. One, two, one, two, three, four! No. It's an instrumental. He actually didn't contribute squat to this song. What a beautiful song! And my Ted wrote that for me? Well, I helped! What Ted told me. Oh. Thank you, Bard. That was most beautiful. And now I can... I must go what? and see him at once. And I now I can distract, now I can help. just take him away from the scene so I can go and get feels. my fucking songbook. I'll tell him how I feel. Good, you go and do that, my dear, and hop to it, hop to it, let's go, let's go. Come, come, you're walking into the wall. Oh, there you go, that's a good lass. Sighs wistfully and she does that a lot. Full of love and hope. Good wow, that gets me right here. My work here is done. It's good to be a bar. Finn, you're such a tool. Alright, time to get in. Well, is the LSD turtle going to stop me? I better have a little chat with him first. Uh, excuse me, turtle. I was wondering. Run along now, young whippersnapper. You're scaring away the fish. Oh, right. Oh, I have no sorry. problem with that. I'll just run oh, inside well, the swamp. Well, you shut interrupted me now. <sighs> I suppose you want to know if I know anything about the old swamp. Well, as, as long as... There's an old swamp! Finn! I will reach through the screen and slap you! That's where we've been told to go! That's the first place we were told to go! She is there a swamp? What's this I'm walking on? It's called the ground. Really? Now there's nothing I could say that would keep a tadpole from doing what he wants. If it's trouble you seek, then that's what you'll get from going in there. Great, I love trouble. At this point, I just want to get this asshole wasted. The king's challenge. Let me tell you this. Back when my shell was barely hard... Uh, the less I know about that, the better. ...deep into that place. Monsters lie in every corner. Do not venture foolishly into their lair. Oh, I shall do exactly that. If not for luck and a well-placed snap of my beak to its nasty throat, I would have been turtle soup. Thank now you. there's an idea. <laughs> now let me get back to my fishing. Oh, I just hate getting weeds all up in my shell. Now Ted's gone, I suppose I can help you. If you still want to go into the swamp. Yes, I do, and he was a complete never, tool. Never wear swim trunks wet. Excuse? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. You're right, it you fucking doesn't. Crazy, you know, but I, I know you're a figment of my shadowy past. Well, thanks, I mean, he's, I he's a mind. musician. Of the he's, in there. he's been on drugs, right? On going into the swamp. Raptors. Some of them will just attack you straight away. But some are a bit more cautious. If you get a chance, try playing the song of the turtle for them. It calms them down. Well, thank you. Thank you for your magic song. Not a very good bard, are you? Oh, fuck you! Oh, never mind. I'll teach it to you. It's quite simple. The turtle teaches you the song of the turtle. That must have been a fun line to record. The turtle teaches you... What now? You also might want to try finding old Yama Uba while you're in the swamp there. <laughs> she has a hut somewhere to the north. I'm not the biggest <laughs> Quest for Glory fan, but that has got to be a there. poke or a reference or something to Baba Yaga. I'm, I'm just guessing. Anyway, off to the swamp. Decide to enter the swamp. That's exactly what we do. <laughs> now there's nothing I could say that would keep it. I think you've already you said that. Be careful in there, sunny boy. Yes, I will. Shut up, you f weird figment. That's actually a raptor. There's a fucking raptor in here. What is this fucking Jurassic Park? What the fuck? All right, I shall play him the song of my people. I'm serenading a fucking dinosaur. What is what is up with my life? As good as the turtle says it is. You see the raptor visibly calm as you play the song of the turtle. Again, the narrator's just looking at the script, going, "How high were you guys when you wrote this?" Well, he doesn't look any calmer, but all right, fine. I am off. I am. This old tree has fallen on hard times. Get it? Fallen. Huh. I crack myself up sometimes. You sound like it too. <laughs> Fuck. What in the hell are these things? These little guys are called sloths. Well, thanks for answering that. Unfriendly when awakened. You don't know much else about them, really. Why don't we go and ask the little fucking meatballs? 
or not. Uh, deep swamp? That didn't accomplish. Well, I know. I just wanted to get in there. Fuck you. The swamp becomes quite deep and unpassable. All righty, righty then. Well, okay. I guess I'll go annoy the sloths. Let's see what happens. Jesus Christ! Look at the fucking eyes on those. Hey, that's kind of scary. Yes, you're not kidding. I'm going to have to ask someone about these things because I have no idea what they are. Do I have to go all the way back to town to fuck? Oh my god. All right. Or maybe the turtle knows. There's definitely a large monster in there. Scary looking big old. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about my pants. Har har. Creatures. You mean the fuzzy balls of razor blade madness? That would be the ones. You might say that. Try to warn you, sonny boy. You ain't gonna get far with them blocking your way. And what about the napping fuzzy death machines? I don't really know. I've just avoided them my whole life. You'd better talk to someone who knows more than me. You're a turtle. Well, we turtles know almost everything. Now I get to stress the almost part. Go see Elder, that town librarian. All right, right, He's right. I guy. fucking knew I had to go back to town. What was that other thing he was talking about the racers shady uh, swiftness thing did i miss a screen or was he talking about the raptor Be careful. i know i know Do you have to say that every time is there a different screen i can go to is there well no apparently not is there anything i can help you with today yes you can make your voice a little less annoying uh i can use your help I believe I could use your help. For once! Well, what can I do for you? I saw several very strange creatures in the swamp on my travel. The swamp? My I own. thought I told you to stay I out of there. Some raptors or maybe some sloths. Exactly, those two. So, I'm not sure, though. Well, raptors the fucking turtle told you! Creatures. Jesus, oh, Finn, what the fuck is wrong with you? Covered in a round mass of matted fur. Yes. Those are what I saw. Whoa! Tell me about the raptor first. Why? I already calmed him down. And I saw one, standing dead still, and staring at me. Yes, that's typical behavior for the female of the species. I have a book about them. I may be able to find I'm not interested in the fucking raptor. The raptor is not the doing anything for me. Pulls a book from the shelf and starts reading. Oh, good. He's going to read aloud to me, isn't he? Ah, yes, they can be strange creatures. Their main diet is chicken, or things that taste like chicken. Human flesh! You no, know is most anything. <laughs> <laughs> sloths are natural enemies. Raptors love to eat sloths. They taste like chicken? Uh... Oh, yes, especially if you batter coat them and deep fry them in oil. Delicious! You're a creepy little person, aren't you? Raptors hate sloths and will eat them. Okay, I get it. Both male and female raptors will attack them. The females are less dangerous than the males. They stand rigid when spotted, although they don't tend to attack people. They have been known to attack smaller animals, though. The males Maybe we can find Cedric the Owl and just chuck him in they there. They control their hunting grounds, and if they run across a potential predator, they knock them out with their massive front legs. Yikes. Indeed. Now, both male and female raptors look the same, so you won't be able to tell the difference by sight. Well, that's My fantastic. would be to avoid them if possible. That's about all I can help you with there. I hope it's of use. Got it. Try to avoid them. And they like chicken. Ooh, but hate sloths. Who taste like chicken. Right. Well, sounds good to me. Thank you again. Fuck it. Um, so we have to lure the raptor to the... You startle the bird, and it takes flight. It keeps doing that. Why does it do that? Do I need to... Oh, fuck. Well, I just want to see if maybe there's a potion I can use to uh, make them taste like chicken. Hello, dear Finn. How can we help you? You still look about 12. What can you tell me about a restore potion? What the hell is a restore potion? I just asked her about potions and... um. Which is the main component. I'd also need a large piece of fruit. Well, we have a large piece and of fruit. Have to take the potion to some of the magic crystals that grow in this valley. And then you have to set it down next to some crystals. Goodbye. Okay, fine. Oh, well. well, we can certainly help you with the uh, oh, large thank fruit. You, Finn. I can use this in my potions. I really appreciate it. Well, no, no problem. fucking problem. To be honest, it's hard to carry it around. Although it does make my bulge look very impressive. Hello, you guys have any chicken? Hello, Mr. Bard. I Any want chicken. The queen? Not yet, but still looking. You'll do it, Mr. Bard. 
Well, cheers. This Excuse me, do you have any reversal. chicken? The door is God damn it. Do butterflies taste like chicken? That did Capture the fucking butterfly. Right, well, I must say I'm a bit lost. Lost, or at a loss, a either one of those, uh, as what to do now. I want to get past those little slothy guys, and I was kind of hoping to end the episode on a high with me defeating the evil red-eyed sloth monsters, but uh, uh, no, I can name plenty of people who I'd like to lure into the swamp and then have the sloths feast on them, or possibly the raptor, or whatever. I mean, maybe we could just, you know, find a stick and then... Uh, you know, either the Chuckles guy up at the fountain or the former gnome. I mean, he must taste like chicken. Um, and just, you know, wave those around the sloth and just, yeah, okay, puzzle solved. But uh, nope, nope, I have no idea. So why don't I just end the episode on a downer note, which is that I have no idea what the, what the fuck I'm supposed to do, or even how to say that in a proper fashion. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave the episode here. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'm the Space Quest Historian. Please like, subscribe, do whatever your kids do, but do leave me a comment. I love the comments, and I will see you back for more Order of the Thorn, The King's Challenge, around the Chrono Stream. Whenever that will be.